Hello everyone, I am Ghulam Abbas. I hope you guys are fine and doing great. Apparently, you may be using the AI tools to write an article for your website or do your homework. Aside from that, you may also use it to write emails. Well, as long as it is not uh, a part of SEO, then you can use all of the AI tools that you are comfortable with. And I'm also using that uh, there are many AI tools, specifically the tool that I am using that is copy.ai. But as long as I am not using that for my websites to rank those articles into the search engines. Well, believe it or not, I have tested several articles and in order to rank them into search engines, I have tried almost anything, but the result is always the same it is not going to rank itself on google at all it is like you are simply uh, uh translating from any other language and then copying and pasting it into your website and publishing that content into uh, your website and that are basically the google search engines or the robots they are detecting it and simply they are not letting them to uh basically rank it on google it is going to be indexed but not uh, ranked on the first second or third pages or basically the pages that you want to rank it there so now what is the best idea or what is the best method that you can use to write your articles for your website or emails or any other homework that you have well in windows 10 and windows 11 and the older version of windows there is the touch keyboard and basically you can always uh, simply type using voice and even in android devices there is a feature uh, which is available that can be used but apparently not almost every android android phone has but you can install gboard and you will have that feature on your phone so let me tell you first in windows how you can use this feature so here you can see i have already added the touch keyboard into the uh, windows or in the taskbar so by default it is not added there you have to click on the taskbar and click taskbar settings uh, and then from here you will see that by default that is turned off and there will be nothing at all you have to turn it on first without doing anything at all and then for the next step what you have to do is you have to click on that and the default setting of the layout is going to be like this and here you can see there is a voice option but as you can see my screen is a little bit smaller and if i have to use it it's going to almost cover half of the screen so in any case let's go ahead and try it out so you can see by default it has multitask everything and set that and we are good to go so just click on the voice and now here you can see it is saying listening and whatever i am saying it is simply typing there you can do the same thing with any platform that you are interested mostly i am using wordpress and i am typing there aside from that one i'm using it for the descriptions of my youtube channel and on medium and uh, reddit and any other platforms so in to put it in simple words i have decreased the amount of time that i used to type and now i'm simply saying and it is going to write that easily full stop you know that my english accent is not really perfect uh, maybe it seems like uh, a bit more like indian but i am not still it is detecting everything very well you can use it to uh, basically uh, subtitles for youtube videos even though uh, it is creating by default so here you can see whatever i am saying it is writing except there are the issues of punctuation so let's go ahead and clear them up after that we'll start with uh, the punctuation stuff too so so let's go ahead and clean them yeah and now let's just uh, simply start with the process of this time punctuation and everything else so hello everyone comma this is an article where i am guiding you how you can type your articles using voice instead of typing full stop next line there is a feature in windows 11 that you can use it to automatically type using your voice instead of typing using your fingers full stop next line 
so here you can see that basically this is how easily you can write here you can see that hello everyone there is a comma and there is a full stop and everything is set to go even uh if you type a question mark a question uh sentence it's also going to basically add the question mark if it did not add that you have to manually add that so now as i said earlier that my screen is small it's going to take half of the screen just to simply uh, type so most of the time it is really annoying for that you have to uh, click on the settings uh, uh, default option that is if you want a smaller version just click on this icon and you you can see that this is the smaller version even though in the smaller version you have a lot more uh, options and settings such as the split screen for your tablet or the traditional option which is this one and here you can see in the traditional there is the uh, icon which in the early version it was not there and aside from that one you have the options here but in the default option this is not there so in any case uh, i am always interested in using the small version because it is uh, not taking a lot of screen and aside from that one you can see everything is set to go and whenever i am writing i am just simply opening it and it is starting typing always full stop so think about it how it is easy you can use this option in your uh, windows 11 to to simply type so now what about the android phone how about it should you be using the same voice feature or no okay before going getting into android if you open your browser search for google.com or any yeah google google is this, the same example so here you can see that by default google has a uh, voice search if you click on it is it just needs permission and then you have to click on it see whatever you say it's going to type and then bring it but it is not always helpful specifically if you're trying to write an article inside your website so the question is how you can use this feature uh, sorry the keyboard the touch keyboard feature in android phone it does not matter which uh, manufacturer uh, has produced your phone has introduced their phone into the market so there is uh, a keyboard available in the google play store that is called gboard it is officially provided by uh, google and you can use it to simply basically type it on your android phone you need to install it and then let me i have to uh, show you how it can be used inside android phone to get started with how you can easily type using your voice on your android phone the first step for you is to download and install gboard on your android phone and please make sure that it has to be the default uh, keyboard on your android phone since if you are using it on the daily basis that is up to you that is not a requirement at all okay for the next thing uh you have to open any place where you want to type on your android so in my case suppose i'm taking note so here you can see that uh, there is a voice icon if i have to tap on it at the moment it is saying initializing and now it is simply typing you can see what i am saying the same trick can be applied to the windows tool and inside your ipad and other devices that you are interested in so this is how you can basically type using your voice i have basically uh, there are indians who are only using their android phone to type articles and work as a freelancer believe it or not there are 15 year years old girl that basically they are doing the job of writing a blog article just using their voice so apparently uh, indian is a language which is by default can be detected to write but there are other languages uh, that cannot be detected uh, such as the persian which i am and aside from that i am also from afghanistan and there is also urdu some other languages that are also that uh, are not detected by default but still you can use english you can type your voice in english and i think it is one of the very good reasons of using this eras technology so i hope that this video has been helpful to you do not forget to subscribe into guide youtube channel and like comment and aside from that one if this is helpful please share it with your colleagues friends anyone that 
are dear to you and they are working in this field with you so have a nice day goodbye and i will meet you guys in the next video